Greetings, it's Maxo Diddly. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can keep your player to stay on the moving platform in Unity. Before we get into this, there's a knight up in the corner if you haven't watched my previous tutorial, which shows us how to make a moving platform. You don't need to watch it, but you do need a moving platform to use this tutorial. Let's get into it. So, I'm going to show you what I've got right now. So, I have got a player character, and this is what happens if they go on the platform. They currently fall off. We don't want that. So let's make the player stay on the platform. So firstly, my player setup is really simple. I am simply using a character controller and inputs.getAxis to move the player. In this tutorial, we'll be making a script that goes on the moving platform, so you can use this with a wide variety of different setups for moving your player. So firstly, on the moving platform itself, I want you to right click and go to create empty. So we're going to be making an empty child object for the moving platform. We're going to call it Collision. And then you want to click on Add Component and you want to go to Box Collider and click on it. Then we're going to want to change the size of the X and the Z. So we're going to do 0.95 and 0.95 for the X and the Z. And if we zoom in, you can see we've got a collision box which is a little smaller than our moving platform. Then we set the Y to be one. So now we've got a way to essentially detect if the player has touched our moving platform and is standing on top of it. Also, you want to set this to be a trigger. Now that we've got the collision set up, we're going to go to our player and we are going to want to give our player a tag. So you, on your player, you can click on this and then click on add tag and you can click on plus and you can do something like player or player obj and then click save. Once you do that, go back to your player, then click on the tag that you've created. I'm going to stick with the player tag that I've made prior to this video, but I just showed you how you can make your own. And remember what you called the tag. We'll be needing it for the collision. Now go back to your moving platform, and then in the assets folder, we're going to right click and then create, and then C sharp script. We're going to call it platform collision. Once you've made the script, open it up in Visual Studio. We're going to do two serialized fields. We're going to do serialized field string player tag equals player and serialized field transform platform. So this is going to be the tag of our player and this is going to be the moving platform that we have. Then you need to delete the start and the update function. So firstly, we're going to do private void on trigger enter collider other and then we can do if other.gameObject.tag.equals player tag other.gameObject.transform.parent equals platform. Basically, if something touches that collision box we put on top of the moving platform, we're going to check if the tag of it is equal to the player tag. And if it's equal to the player tag, that means the player has just jumped onto our moving platform. And what we can do is we can do other.gameObject.transform.parent, which is referencing the player that's just jumped on the moving platform, and we can make it equal to our moving platform. And since the player is now a child of the moving platform, they're going to move with it. We also want to do private void on trigger exit and collide to other. And then we can do if other.gameObject.tag.equals player tag other.gameObject.transform.parent equals null. So if the player has left our moving platform, we're going to set its parent to be null because it's no longer standing on our moving platform, so we no longer want it to move with the moving platform. And that's all the code we need for, for this tutorial. So save your work and go back into Unity. Then go to where your collision is and drag and drop your platform collision code onto it. Make sure you have the correct tag name here. This won't work if it is incorrect. And for the platform, you want to drag and drop your moving platform into here and also Make sure your player object has a collider that isn't a trigger. So the is trigger box would be unticked because the collision box for our moving platform collision here is a trigger and is ticked. There is one more thing you need to do. You need to go up to here and click on edit. You need to go up here and click on edit and then go to project settings. Then you need to find the physics button and click on it. And you need to find a setting called Auto Sync Transforms. And you want to make sure there is a tick in the box next to it. This is required if you want your player object to move with the moving platform when it's a child of. Once this is ticked, you can just close the settings. And now we can hit play. 
So we've got our moving platform. And we're going to line up our... We're going to get our player to move towards it. And to go on it. As you can see in the hierarchy, they actually became a child of the moving platform. And they're moving with it. We can move about on it. And if we do, we still don't fall off. And if we jump... Oh no, we left the collision and therefore fell off. So, thanks for being a great audience for Shorty for liking the comment if you enjoyed, and subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching.